And this new year signals new beginnings and new changes, including changes to the way you'll do your taxes in 2023. For more on how your financial future could be affected this year, let's bring in wealth management expert Zainab Williams in Caledon, Ontario. She's also the founder of Elverti Wealth Management. Zainab, thank you so much for making time for us and Happy New Year. Thank you for having me, Natasha. Happy New Year's to you, too. Thank you so much. Okay, my friend, let's talk about something that so many of us get intimidated by, new tax measures coming into effect this year, specifically around housing. Now, one of the big changes that's coming is the first home savings account. How exactly does it work and how are the changes going to help benefit Canadians? Absolutely. So the, the FHSA, which was a tool that was previously introduced um, that many first time home buyers were keeping their keen eye on, was uh, was launched, was go is going to be launched in April 1st, 2023. And it will allow certain home buyers to save up to $40,000 towards their home purchase with a maximum annual contribution of $8,000 over five years. Just like the RRSP, it is uh, tax deductible and withdrawals to purchase your first time home is also tax free. Just like a TFSA, all the investments are going to be growing in this tool tax free. And also the new legislation did confirm that uh, that the first time home buyers can also use the FHSA and also um, the RRSP. This was something that was a concern for a lot of people when it was first introduced because it was either you use your RRSP or the um, FHSA. So this is great that you can actually use both tools simultaneously towards your uh, first home. That is great news because I'm sure you hear, we always hear about people who are having such a tough time getting into the housing market. Now, as I understand it, this FHSA isn't just for first time home buyers. So who else gets to benefit from this program? So the first time home buyer, it's simply someone who's been out of the market for more than four years. They've previously owned a home, they sold it. They uh, decided to rent out or do whatever they wanted to do with their life, but then now they want to get back into the market. So if you have not owned a home for more than four years, then you are you can be considered a first time home buyer as well. Oh, that's so interesting. And I don't think a lot of people would know that because the first time you just think is the first time, but it's like not in a while also. <laughs> Exactly, okay. exactly. And, and I think it's important for, for uh, first-time home buyers um, to really just think about how exactly they can maximize their down payment towards uh, owning a home, which is great that you can use both tools now simultaneously. Now, Zainab, let me also ask you about this new multi-generational home renovation tax credit. How exactly can Canadians use that to their advantage? So this is a new tax credit, and uh, basically it will equal about 15% of um, towards eligible expenses, up to 50,000 incurred for qualifying renovations that creates a secondary dwelling for uh, um, for for homeowners. And it, it is important if you do want your uh, parents to stay with you or if you have a loved one who suffers from a disability, it will help families uh, stay together when um, when they want to take care of their loved ones. Walk me through a scenario for that, because I think a lot of people might find themselves in that situation. So is there an example you could give us? I would say it's important to really speak to the ta your tax accountant as well, because there are certain credits, there are certain um, there are certain uh, types of renovations that would qualify. So when you are thinking of actually keeping your uh, your loved one at home, Think about what types of renovations can I be able to incorporate within my home that can be able to facilitate this uh, this uh, type of um, of of uh, scenario. And then once you have those types of uh, once once you have those types of renovations listed out, now speak to your to your accountant to find out which ones of these actually qualify for me towards getting this tax credit. This way, I am able to maximize my uh, my money. Okay, that's great. Things like if you needed to put a ramp in or a, a stair lift for a member of the family that might have mobility issues. So that's really helpful because increasingly, you know, more and more of us getting older, stuff's not working the way it used to, but okay. Let's, uh, exactly. let's talk about federal indexes for personal income brackets. Uh, they are being increased. So what does that mean for how much Canadians are going to pay in their income taxes? 
Well, for example, the basic personal amount that um, that is exempt from federal taxes has now been increased to fifteen thousand dollars. And um, there are also different tax brackets that have also been increased, especially to index for uh, inflation. Your CPP, all the security and EI have also been increased as well. I think it's important for us to start looking at um, tax planning as something that's not just done once a year, but rather how exactly can I start looking at my income from the get go to see how where I can maximize the most of my money where I can reduce my taxable income as um, all of these brackets have been increased due that's, to inflation. Zainab, that's perfect. And that kind of leads into my next question to you is, as we go into this new year and you're a wealth management expert, help us. How can we be more wealthy, smarter with our money? What are some goals that each of us can sort of take on for 2023? I have an interesting client who said that this year they are going to be loyal to their pocket. So this means that you want to be intentional with where you spend your money and also ensure that you are connecting with actual financial experts who have your best interest at heart in ensuring that you are tax planning, you are maximizing your money and uh, you're becoming much more lean with how you spend because this this year 2023 it is going to be a tough year for a lot of Canadians, especially Canadians who are looking at uh, at uh, renewing their mortgages and they're trying to figure out what exactly can I do because these payments are going to be much uh, higher than anticipated. So it's important to start looking at uh, personal finance from that aspect of how can I become more strategic in 2023. Very good advice. Zainab Williams, thank you so much for your time and Happy New Year. My pleasure and Happy New Year to you too. Thank you so much.